Hi everyone and welcome to Homestead Testing. Today's Cheat Meal Monday. It is one of Grandma's recipes. It is a very usual dish with an unusual twist. I hope you stay tuned. From the diary of Fanny, my grandma, and it is July 2nd, 1942. Today was a very hot wash day. I also got to can some string beans. Hi everyone and welcome back to Homestead Tessie. Today we are going to be making meatloaf. But this isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill meatloaf. This is meatloaf surprise. Grandma loved cooking. Grandma loved baking. Grandma loved making all kinds of things. But all of her meals were using everyday ingredients. So this one is a little bit different for Grandma. It is meatloaf using stovetop stuffing. So I'm going to make the recipe and then at the end of this video I will be having the recipe written out and scrolling at the end of it. That way you can take your time and you can write the recipe down. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one onion and one fourth cup of Italian salad dressing and we are going to saute the onions. So what we're going to do is we're just going to saute them till they sweat and that means that they will become more pliable and it will be a lot less of the onions so they'll be cooked. We're going to go ahead and saute these and then we're going to go and put them in a bowl with our ground beef. You're going to take two pounds of ground beef. Now you want to have your ground beef fairly lean so you don't have all that fat. So we're going to go ahead, this was frozen and it's thawed so I'm going to go ahead and mix it up with my hands. Alright, let me wash my hands quick before we put the rest of the ingredients in. We're going to add our onion that was sautéed in the Italian salad dressing. Now you can chop up your onions a lot finer. You can also skip the onions if you'd like. Add about a half a cup of ketchup. It says a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup. So let's go with a half a cup. A little bit over half. So basically three-fourths of a cup of ketchup. One package of stove top stuffing. I have the chicken flavor, it doesn't specify, so you could use whatever flavor you like. I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the bowl and then I will use my hands to mix it so that way I don't have to keep washing my hands. And then to that, it calls for one cup of water and two eggs. So we're just going to put the eggs in with the water. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix it. It serves between eight to ten people. Now you're going to be mixing quite a little bit because you have to incorporate all of these things in it. So of course if you have a smaller family you can always put this recipe in half. I had to wash my hands because we're going to add one more ingredient. We're going to add one half cup of shredded cheese, and I'm going to estimate it. Now 
We're going to go ahead and mix it up again. We're going to go ahead and put it, you want to put it in a roaster and we are going to bake it at 375 for 375 for about I think an hour to an hour and a half it doesn't say on here but I'm using this this is a crock pot and a roaster because it's simply a hundred degrees outside and I surely do not want to have my propane stove on so we're going to go ahead and we are going to put it in a roast pan You can also make this using all turkey or you can mix it half turkey and half of the beef. So this is what it looks like. Now that is a large loaf. So that will feed a family. Like it said, it says feeds 8 to 10 servings. So the last thing we do is we're going to go ahead and put a top layer of ketchup. This is not in the recipe but this is what I like to do. I like to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of brown sugar over it, the top, so it's more like a barbecue glaze. That is not in the recipe, that's just something that I do. Okay everyone, so we're going to bake it at 375. I would say it's about an hour and a half. That is what I'm going to go towards. What you do is you can cut it in the center and when it's no longer pink, and the juices run clear, that means your meatloaf is ready. So we're going to go with about an hour and a half is what I am estimating. When we are finished with it, I will get back to you and tell you exactly how long it took. So I'll get back to you in just a wink of an eye. A beautiful meatloaf and I cut it in half because I had to get it out and I didn't want to break it up so we'll just slide it over like that there is our meatloaf and here is our barbecue green beans that I canned last year so we're gonna go ahead and make that and I'll plate everything up and show you what it looks like when it's finished <laughs> sheet meal Monday is finished we have surprise meatloaf barbecue green beans and some Brussels sprouts so let's plate it up My daughter is in the background waiting for our lunch. Can you just say hello, Michelle? Hi, everyone. She doesn't want to be on camera. That's the story of my life. <laughs> Nobody likes being on camera, but that's okay. Here are the Brussels sprouts. It smells amazing. They can't see you because I have the camera turned down. Oh, good. So nobody is even seeing me at the moment. And then, of course, everybody likes when I taste my food. In the beginning of my YouTube videos, I never tasted my food. And people kept saying to me, Tessie, you need to taste your food. We like to see you eat it. So there you go, is my plate. Now let's see what it tastes like. In Homestead Tessie's fashion, we will give it a try. I can tell you right now it's going to be amazing because it's Grandma Grove's recipe and it smells delicious. Mm, that is a perfect meatloaf. Green beans, the recipe came from my plain cousin. Mmm. Mmm. And Brussels sprouts, which add nutrition. Mmm. Mm. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi everybody, 
I just want to take this time to thank you so much for watching my videos. Here's some other videos I thought you might enjoy. See you tomorrow.